Since 1996, Mainline Steam has operated their annual Main Trunk Trekker excursion from Auckland to National Park in return. Regarded as the longest journey in time, the excursion departs Auckland at 5am and arrives back around 11pm, but considering the long day, the trip is always booked out well in advance with a long waiting list of hopefuls. Mount Ruapehu wearing its winter mantle. Always a must is a stop for the cameras on the Raurimu spiral. At National Park, passengers were whisked to the chateau on the slopes of Mount Ruapehu for a three-course lunch, before travelling by coach to rejoin the train at Tomaranui for a five-hour run back to Auckland. The first set of four ex-Auckland transport passenger carriages have been refurbished at the Hutt Railway workshops for an inter-regional service connecting Hamilton and Papakura. They made their delivery trip from Wellington to Hamilton on Saturday the 5th of September. 104 carriages were converted from imported British Rail Mark II passenger stock at the Hutt Railway workshops, including 24 fitted with a driver's cab to allow for a push-pull operation. The first set of three carriages appeared in April 2004, and the first prototype SD-class driver control car was in use by October the same year. The new Auckland EMUs began entering service from 2014 and by September 2015 the passenger stock had become surplus and were transferred south to Taumaranui and stored in the once empty yard. DFB 7295 will be part of the train set and has had necessary modifications carried out to operate the carriage doors, driver to crew communication and warning systems.
passing the remaining passenger carriages stored at Taumaranui. The train made several test runs between the two cities for crew training and familiarisation. Unfortunately, the diesel haul train is not permitted to enter the underground Britomart station. Instead, passengers must leave the train at Papakura and board an EMU service that has 13 stops before reaching Britomart. The second set of four ex-Auckland transport carriages have been refurbished at the Hutt Railway workshops. They made their delivery trip as train B04 from Wellington to Hamilton on Saturday the 10th of October. Passing the remaining passenger carriages stored at Taumaranui that are slowly decreasing in numbers. A number have been transported by road to the Hutt Railway workshops to be rebuilt for the Capital Connection Service and a charter fleet. DFB 7077 is the second DFB to have had the necessary modifications carried out in the cab to operate the carriage doors, driver to crew communication and warning systems. It made a repositioning run from Wellington to Hamilton on Saturday the 20th of March. The bleak rain-soaked hills provide an impressive backdrop of 1960s steam on the west coast. Greymouth's wharf sidings could accommodate rows of loaded Q-class coal wagons waiting for their contents to be discharged into coastal ships. Westport Station Yard, with wagons of coal mined from Westland's coal fields at Seddonville, Nakawau, Stockton and Denniston. The high quality coal was destined to many industries including gasworks, dairy factories and of course New Zealand railways. Waimangaraa Junction where the 2.9 km long Cons Creek branch left the Seddonville line. The branch ran to Cons Creek at the base of the 1.7 km long Denniston Incline. The incline was a gravity fed cable railway with passing loops at the halfway point of the upper and lower inclines. These two inclines were separated by the middle brake head where wagons were transferred from the top incline cableway 
to the control of the lower incline cableway. After 88 years of operation, the incline was closed in August 1967, was dismantled and left to nature. The previous Prime Minister Helen Clark and the Department of Conservation saw the historical importance of the incline and contracted John Gurney from Stilvio to rebuild and recreate the top brake head. One of a handful of a once 85 strong DC class still in operation trundles along the Waitoa branch that was once part of a busy East Coast main trunk that ran through Pairoa, Waihi and Kati Kati.
$30 million, has been set aside to refurbish and increase the life expectancy of 15 of the 22 EF class. The curved Hapua Whenua viaduct was opened in 1987, replacing the old viaduct that was completed in 1908 that now forms part of the old coach road that is popular with cyclists and walkers.
Masterton commuter service departs Maymorn to enter the 8.7 kilometre long tunnel under the Rumiataka range in the distance. On the rear of train 736, two hopper wagons carrying grain from Ashburton to the malting plant at Martin. The snow-fed waters of the Hapuku River from the Kaikoura Ranges in the distance. An empty coal train arrives at Nakawao to be loaded with coal for export to Japan.
the slow slog upgrade from Oterra and through the 1 and 33 grade of the Oterra Tunnel to Arthur's Pass. The calm waters of Otago Harbour reflects train 937 as it crosses the causeway.
after extensive track and signalling work had been carried out over the winter months, F-13 hauled the first train of the season at Ferrymead. December 1963, following the centenary celebrations of New Zealand Railways, there was an interest to operate a heritage railway in Christchurch. So where would a heritage railway be located? Where else but Ferrymead, the birthplace of public railways in New Zealand? It was also by chance that other transport groups were looking in the same direction, so joint meetings in 1964 led to the formation of the Ferrymead Heritage Park. The Minister of Railways made available track sets from disused sidings and closed branch lines. Track was laid on the original 1863 embankment beside the Heathcote River of the Christchurch Ferrymead Railway. The railway didn't have a real source of income until 1972 when C864 began running regular Sunday services. On the 3rd of December 1977, the Ferrymead Railway was officially opened. The Manning Wardle was first steamed at Ferrymead in March 1975, and the same scene today, 39 years later. crossing the recently upgraded track and bridge at Truscott's Curve. While F-13 runs around its train at Ferrymead Station, the station porter operates the tyres tablet machine to obtain the correct tablet for the train to occupy the section between Ferrymead and Morehouse Station. Without the appropriate tablet, the train could not proceed beyond station limits. Canterbury Railway Society is the only heritage railway in New Zealand that operates all forms of motor power, steam, diesel electric and electric locomotives. Robin Gavin's dream was to save a pair of old reds. 
and she was able to purchase a set of English electric EMUs in 1988 to operate at Ferrymead. The motor coach DM27 entered service in March 1951 and the trailer coach D163 in July 1953. Built in 1873, A64 and W192 built in 1889 provides a contrast in locomotive size over a mere 16 years. Steam Incorporated's first excursion for 2021 was a summer jaunt to Whanganui on Sunday the 10th of January. This was JA1271's first outing on the main line since late 2019. At Palmerston North, Adam O'Sullivan and Grant Allen took over the footplate duties. On arrival in Whanganui, passengers had a choice of riding on the city's original 1911 built tram Mabel or a river boat cruise. After a break of nearly three hours in the river city, the train departed at 4.15 in blustery conditions.
lineup of locos including A423, WW644 and AB832, the last steam loco to operate in the North Island in December 1967. Once the public services had finished for the day, 608 was coupled to a mixed train and is seen departing Pukio Wari in light rain as dusk falls. A night shoot was staged for the rail fans at Glenbrook Station and the following day 608 hauled a mixed train for the benefit of the cameras. DE 507 provided transport between the photo run buys for the rail fans. Light misty drizzle continued for much of the day. Arriving at Glenbrook Station with its signal box and semaphore signals. The 7th of July 2019 was Donald's first public running day at Blenheim's Riverside Railway. 
McDonald worked at Puponga in Golden Bay from 1901 until 1930, hauling coal from the mine to the wharf. One kilometre long Omaka branch line veers off to the left while diesel locomotive George sits on the five kilometre long main line from the Blenheim terminus at Beaver Station. George was built by A and G Price in 1951 and was the first loco to arrive at the Riverside Railway in 1986. Donald, that is diesel fired, arriving alongside the Omaka Aviation Heritage Centre and the terminus of the Omaka branch line. Crossing the 46 metre long bridge over Taylor River before climbing the grade to the junction with the main line.
Since 1994, Magic Video Systems continues to be New Zealand's leading producer and distributor of railway DVDs, covering many aspects of rail operations in New Zealand. These include Kiwi Rail's passenger and freight services, mainline excursions, and heritage railways that showcase the golden age of rail travel in this country. Each year, we produce four volumes of New Zealand Rail Scene that are available through selected retail outlets or by way of an annual subscription.